Hey guys, just want to do a quick video about how they moved a gang stalker into my social circle. Now this guy here was a 33 year old adult apprentice that the workplace hired and had me train. So what better way to collect data and get to know me during the surveillance stage. Um, he was a, he was a nice type of bloke. I I had no idea he was a he was a pleasant chap with similar interests to me. We became quite good friends, and he would even come to my house and we'd have a few beers and talk a bit of shit. Well, over time, <coughs> excuse me. Well, over time, he became too inquisitive. You know, he was a real sticky beak. Wanted to know all my business. So, something didn't feel right, so I put some distance between us. Not long after that, I was stood down from my job. I was there nine years. And I began to see this guy when I was out and about, you know. I've seen him five times that I'm aware of. Twice, I've just walked past him at the shops. And I've done a bit of a double take, thinking, okay, that's, that's a bit odd. Uh, another time... <clears throat> Excuse me. Another time, I was in a planned traffic hold-up, and he he walked on set and stood right outside my car window on his mobile. The next time, I was driving home, and I almost hit a dog. A dog rushed out in front of my car, so I went back to see if the dog was okay. And here he is in someone's front yard patting the dog. And the last time... A bloke held me up, me up in traffic looking at his boot or the trunk of his car and uh, the, the lookalike walks on set again, you know, off to the side. Big fat version of him. So why they use the doppelgangers, I've got no idea. It's meant to be psychological, but it doesn't really phase me. Um I think they're just trying to impress you the lengths that they'll go to to um, to mess with you, but it's pretty insignificant to me. The other thing was he was conditioning or sensitising me. They keep using my mother's death to further create trauma. Well, this, this guy bought in a slab of mother, of mother cans, 24 cans, and he said, I've got a slab of mother for you. And instead of giving me the slab, he'd give me one every morning. And he was conditioning me, you know. There was a a subliminal with, you know, the mother connection. So there you go. There's a quick story about how they moved a gang stalker into my life, and he... Just happened to double as a bloody look-alike or doppelganger. Anyway, my guts is rumbling. I hope the tape didn't pick that up. All right, see you guys. Bye.